Hey Jared, how you doing, big fella? Um, welcome. We are good to go. I don't believe there was any trades at all in the trade period, so um, that is all good. I just want to show a um, picture of an insert. Entwined or twined or something like that. And I haven't seen heaps of them pop out, but um, here we go. I'll just flick back to the um. To the random screen. Alrighty, so I'm just quickly going to eBay lads. So this is sorry, Prime Twine. And um I think there's two per box. And it's not probably the best picture I've ever seen in the world. But these um these insulates look really good. So hopefully we get a couple of delicious ones of these. Yeah, that's a nice tray. Sorry, that's a nice curry. There's a nice tray here too. That's a better picture. They almost look a bit sort of um, 3D. Yeah, I really like those. So yeah, alrighty. Let's um, a Clinton, a Alvera. What's going on, big fella? Alrighty, so let's do this. Let's get going. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy quick feel, lads. So um, thank you very much for that. Definitely very grateful. Um, yeah, look, I never really know if it's going to be, you know, a slow or a quick fill, to be honest with you guys. Sometimes we're running minis like crazy. Anyway, it's pretty clear you guys are after some new products, so we've got a couple more boxes coming, but this is just what actually we had on hand. And to be honest, we should be thinking, thanking John O'Hardy for this because, um, yeah, he is the gentleman who hooked us up. So, John mate, thank you very much. He was kind enough to basically unsell his box that he got on pre-order. So, cheers, big fella. This is probably my favorite thing that I do, to be honest, when I'm a breaker, lads. Holding the box up just like that. <laughs> hey, Alan, welcome, buddy. Mario, how you doing, champ? Alrighty. I think I'm pretty well ready to go. In. So I'm going to try to um, not go as quick as I can, but I do need to sort of have a degree of pace just for the fact that there's so many cards there's 24 packs and um eight cards per packet so i think probably the best thing for me to do is try and um just do as much sort of penny sleeving as i can later on because otherwise we're going to be here for like three hours i know i'm not the fastest breaker in the world um we do have to check the backs of these cards though because the the red back is basically uh two per box so um yeah i'll sort of i'll quickly go through those horford is in philly that's a philly card but he played really well for okc today fred van vliet broke my heart today daniel house jr and our first shot print which is a purple isaac and rookie kira lewis that's going to the pals i think i should put that into the the penny sleep pile and miami Precious, Baisley going to OKC, CJ McCollum, and RJ second year, he's playing really well this year, definitely can see the improvement there, Marquis Morris going to the Lake Show, 
KD and our first insert Anthony Edwards Okay, feed's looking good. Any troubles with the audio or the video, guys, please let me know. So I don't think the Wolves have been playing particularly that well this year, but um, some of Edward's highlights are just absolutely sick. Like, that guy is pretty amazing. Alrighty, Okoro for the Cavs. Sexton, third year card. Bagley. I really feel like that's about the first live action picture I've seen of this guy. It's taken about three years for that to happen. This has been a walking injury, that guy. Randall, absolutely killing it for the Knicks this year. If you've got him on your rookie team. And second year Zion. I think that has to go into the. Oh, here we are. First packet. I can't even really hide that. There we go. Let's go into the Nuggies. Who got the Nuggies? Nuggets, Sebastian Del Plaza, congratulations mate. First auto, as a general rule of thumb, it seems like you're getting one veteran and um, you get one rookie per box. So, um, yeah, let's see what we get for our rookie. That is the card that I was talking about before. I was hoping we were going to hit. That's a nice one. That is going to the Wolves. And that's Clinton Ward. Congrats, mate. So you got that nice little Edwards insert. And then you got that Prime Twine. I'm going to chuck that into a toppy. I think these are one of like the nicer cards in this set. I'm not getting heaps of comments at the moment. That's okay, maybe nothing's coming through. Alrighty, rookie card, Tyrese Maxi going to Philly, and Desmond Bain is going to the Grizz. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna just tidy up for a second because I know this is gonna be some epic stacks. Alrighty guys, how's your fantasy teams going? How is your pro team going? What's happening in the world of hoops? The Bucks are getting themselves sorted out. It's really interesting to see them play. Mitchell, John Wall in a Wizards uniform, but now with the Rockets. Kendrick Nunn, second year card, that's a good one. Josh Richardson for Philly. OG for the wraps and legends of the game is Bill Russell that is numbered to 699 I'm a bit unsure why they number cards that much but Isaiah Stewart so I think this year Detroit is one of the better teams to get because essentially they've got three rookies they've got Isaiah Stewart who was a really good late round pick um, they got oh god that guy's name's Dropped down on my mind now. Killian Hayes, they got, and Sadiq Bay. So basically, if you hit Detroit in a random, you've done really well. It's almost like getting Atlanta last year where they had two, you know, really decent first round picks. You could almost take it a step further this year and say, well, actually, Detroit is like, you know, one of the better teams to get in terms of like, if you're rookie hunting and you're trying to get a bit of value, definitely, if you see a cheap Detroit and pick your team, go grab it, lads. It's um, it's the way to go. Jordan Noel. I think it's going to be a little bit tricky to price her, to be honest, because I don't think you can put it up to, like, you know, Charlotte or Wolves level, but in my mind, actually, they're, like, they're right up there. Yeah, Dylan Brooks, Terrence Davis, Naughty Boy, Kogi, and Zero Gravity, the Doctor. That's nice. And our tool rookie cards is going to be Malachi Flynn and Otoro. Not bad. Bay. Bay and Hayes, yeah. 
Yeah, thanks, lads. Anyway, Detroit is like super good value this year, so yeah, do not sleep on Detroit. Who got Detroit this year? Pistons, Alan Waring. Yeah, welcome, mate. Yeah, I think that's a really nice team to hit. So welcome aboard, Alan. Hope you enjoy yourself, mate. Anyway, back to the Bucks. I really like what they're doing this year. I think they're moving um, Giannis into more sort of like the pick setup instead of you know having the ball in his hands all the time. It's it's really good. Um, it makes a lot of sense in terms of like them spreading the floor having Drew Holiday out there handling the ball a little bit speaking of Drew Holiday for the Pels and Patrick Williams on the we got next that is going to the Bulls of course and the Bulls is Nathan Lee Thomas so congratulations man I think also too just to add a little bit of like variety to their um to their game, like, alrighty, Wizards, Cassius, Winston, Trey Jones going to the Spurs, that's a really cool looking card, I'm used to seeing him in the, the Prism draft picks, I've been mean, looking at those too much, Tory Craig, yeah, look, I just really like the way they've done that, we got a penny sleeve, big fella. And I think also too it makes sense to sort of experiment with their lineups and their their plays and stuff like that in the season. I think um look, they might just go back to their bread and butter just putting the ball into Giannis's hand like every single time down the court. Which I'm totally fine with that by the way, but at the same time, um Phoenix Suns rookie Jalen Smith and Danny going to the Wiz has been given a heap of opportunity this year. Probably hasn't put it together that well. Wizards is Adam Crosley. Congrats, buddy. Um, but yeah, I th it just makes a whole lot of sense in my mind. I mean, I don't mind if they lose a few extra games in the regular season. I mean, like, what does it matter? Interesting, today I heard on a podcast that they're actually playing him more minutes this year deliberately, so when he goes into the off-season... Um, he'll be actually in better condition because basically they rested him so much and any time they blew out games last year they were just, you know, put him onto the bench and that was it. So when he got to the playoffs actually he was like having a few troubles with conditioning. I think that's actually a really, really interesting concept and um, LeBron James on the City Edition, that's a sick card. Congrats to the Lake Show. Lake Show is Sebastian. Nice hit there, mate. Um, I think that's a really interesting concept too, and I think that's something that Jeff Van Gundy spoken a lot about. It's something that Mike D'Antoni is a massive subscriber to. You know, he he basically doesn't believe in rest. He actually thinks it's the opposite. It's you know good for these guys to be playing. Um, so yeah, I mean to me, there must be you know, there must be a happy medium between the two. You can't just like rest someone entirely and you can't play them into the ground either. I mean, so maybe what Golden State Warriors does, they make them wear um, like play emotion, play a sensing things, and literally they will give them like time off if that's what their sensor says to do. That makes sense to me. And he's sort of making like a day to day decision on you know when someone should be playing or not. The whole minutes thing though, I don't really understand that. Like I would assume that you'd be better off to be playing like big minutes um, in one day and then taking more time, like more days off instead of having like sort of two half games over two days, but that's just me personal. Lonnie Walker playing really, really well for the Spurs. Aiton, a little bit of charm around in the second year. I think that deserves a little bit of penny sleeve love. Wendell Carter. 
we've got a nice little insert come in, we've got some Trey Young, I'm going to penny sleeve that. And we got next on the RJ Hampton, that is going to the Nuggies again, so that is Sebastian. Pretty sure, yeah, Sebastian, congrats man, that's a sick card. Almost looks a bit like sort of prism -y, doesn't it? Alrighty, here we go, Sadiq Bay for the Pistons, what we were talking about before. That's their second nice rookie card. Tyler Bay is going to the Mavs. Jeremy Lamb is going to our regular pile with Rosier. Guys, if there's anything that you want um, top loaded, one touch, just let me know. Very happy to hit, hook you up with that. Um, every single rookie card and insert will be penny sleeved. Um, but I'm going to do it off the camera tonight. I'm just going to sit down when the break's finished and just smash it out because otherwise I'll be here for hours. Alrighty, Lou Will, Matthews, Gafford. That's interesting. I wouldn't have picked him for an insert card, but that's still pretty cool. And following it up with another RJ Hampton card. I actually really enjoy watching this guy play. I think, um, He's going to be really interesting. He's got a lot of different skills. I sort of think it depends on um, where he goes to and how he's used as a sort of like how his career sort of pans out. Like, he kind of seems like he has the disposition that you sort of fit into like a secondary role. Um, I don't particularly think he's going to be a star player, but I can definitely see him being used as a scorer or a defender or a facilitator, you know, just sort of doing a little bit of everything. Like, I think he's, yeah, actually a really exciting prospect definitely went under the radar and high voltage going to the Knicks that is a sick hit that is going to BJ Robinson congratulations big fella and actually I think him going to the Nuggies is kind of a good thing because um, they have a very um, I think they've got a really good system in terms of like the way they move the ball around. Um, uh, Ramsey and Cassius Stanley. Yeah, I think they've got a great system in the way they move the ball around. And also too, they can sort of put a little bit more like height on the floor. So if he does sort of play like the two, or even the one, right? Um, you know, that's fine because Yoki can help him out bringing down the ball. Like I really like that sort of you know, versatility that they've got, so, I'm really oversimplifying things here, but at the same time, um, yeah, awesome team for him to land on too. Alrighty, Jimmy Buckets, Drummond, Jalen Brown, who's been out for my fantasy team the last couple of weeks. And KG. Oh, these are nice. Um, I saw a Rodman. Well, I saw two Rodmans of these, actually. And um, it looked really good. The Rodman card looks great. Especially, like, the, the color of his hair. It's on it, too. Yeah. He's not numbered. Nothing like that. It is a cool little insert. Alrighty, quickly, who's absolutely killing it for the Knicks. We pulled his auto from a contender's box a few weeks back. I'm super stoked about that still, actually. I think that's a, such an awesome autograph. Alrighty, here we go. Anthony Edwards, number one. Congratulations to the Wolves. Bamba finally got into the game the other night. I think he had double-digit rebounds. Depot. Montrez. And here is our second auto... It is a Rookie Inc. It is a sticker auto. It is going to the Bucks. It is going to Sebastian De La Plaza. Two for two in the autos, big fella. I think our last two breaks you've been in, mate, you've been hitting home runs. You got... Um, you got Charlotte and Lamello in the Prism Draft. And then the two autos out of this box, mate, you're on a bit of a hot streak. 
have to start going back and looking at your numbers, mate. Alrighty. Oh, these are cool. That is Luca on the court side. And our two rookie cards. A Kongu. And... Sabin Lee. I haven't heard of this guy. Look, I know um, Hoops has got like a really deep sort of like player list and I think that is you know definitely criticised but for the Hoops Junkie fan who you know every rookie that comes through gets a rookie card actually I quite dig that to be honest like it's kind of cool I've got a couple of full sets of this and it's just a really nice like little set you put it into your pockets you just flick through it it's pretty sick and actually they put a fair bit of work into um, detailing all the like the backs of the cards too Rui second year Hero second year still playing really well this year Dwight Powell coming back from injury Derek Favors has got a massive throw now Marcus Smart has been out lately and this is our first bowl signing it is the now playing card and I actually thought that we had a one-two punch then Grant Rilla and Tyrese Halberton for the Kings that's a really cool card Anthony won't take the radio. the big Kiwi Alfred Payton starting for the Knicks ripping it up Caruso he's got hair there it must be an old picture, like an old file picture. City Edition, Kyrie. Theo Melden. Lighting it up from three for OKC this year. And Cole Aldridge, who's already hit two game winners this year. So I think if you're looking at um, Rookie of the Year potential, you really shouldn't go past Cole. I know there's like a fair bit of... Um, buzz around Lamello and I think that's like you know definitely just um but yeah Cole is definitely like putting in the work and he is um I just penny sleeved the wrong card then sorry about that lads yeah he's playing really well he's got a really nice in between game he's got a little bit of sort of herky jerky maybe a better shooter than he looks he doesn't look that good but see the bottom of the box so I reckon we're about 60% to three quarters of the way through we're doing pretty good how long have I been it doesn't feel like that long 24 minutes that's not bad for me that's pretty good alrighty Harry Giles he has been moved he's with the Blazers now Clarkson ripping it up off the bench Bradley Beal just cannot miss this year that's nice that's a nice picture Oh yeah, here we go. Awesome stuff. I was hoping we are going to get one of these. These are absolute home runs, these cards. Jammer at Tribute. Going back to some like 80s hoops cards. Oh, they even did the back too. I haven't actually seen one of these backs before. The couple of breaks that I did, they didn't flick that over. Oh, that's awesome. I feel like they've tried to like age the um, sort of the picture in the background there too. It's not a prism, but it's sort of got like a prism-esque shine on it. Lamalu is just off the chain, isn't he? The way the way he plays basketball is just. It's just so much fun. His court vision is amazing though. Alrighty. Nanji Wiseman on the rookie card. Jeff Teague. Harrison Bonds. 
Looney A D and that is actually numbered to twenty five. And you can sort of see it's got a little bit of extra on it. It's called an artist proof. I actually haven't seen this card. Again, going to the nuggets, Sebastian. I don't even need to look at the list, mate. I think he's a one per box. The break I went into, I got clippers and I got a number to 25 Paul George, so definitely not disappointed with that. Alrighty, cool. Uh, Kmart did not make it into the base set of Prism Draft, and I'm not going to lie to you, I was a little bit upset about that. I don't mind a bit of Kmart. His dad was a beast. Reddish. I think Hunter had knee surgery yesterday. Zach Levine, a little bit of Steffi. Alrighty, now playing. Jay McDaniels. I get confused because there's a Jaden and a Jalen McDaniels and I think one of them ended up with the Lakers. Was he treated? It's a Wolves card. For some reason I thought there was a McDaniels playing for the Lakers. Vernon Carey. Um, anyway, one of the McDaniels brothers was the number one prospect at a high school. So, real GM is like really high on that kid. Like sort of, you know, despite the fact him falling so much in the draft. Alrighty guys, I might actually just have a short break and I just want to go through and see, look for our red backs because um, i got a massive pile of base here and I just want to just clear my desk just a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll look for the red backs in the b -b base first. And then, um, and then later on when I do the insert recap, I can, I thought I saw a red back just then, maybe it was like the, maybe it was the red coming off the card. Hmm, okay. I thought you got two per box of the red backs. So either that means they're in our insert pile that I've just put aside, or they're still in these packets here. Alrighty, let's go. Troy Brown. Kevin Porter Jr. DJ Thibel Lowry again, you broke my heart today, Lowry. Hardaway Jr. Rookie cards, CJ Ellery. Almost sounds like salary. Skylar Mays for the Hawks. Rudy Gay. Canard, who's playing really well off the Clippers bench. That is our second Isaac. That's the base, though. So Eric Gordon playing well this year. Injured again, though. The other ball brother. Upside down, Steph Curry. Hypnotized. That's cool. Not numbered, not prism. These cards are sort of halfway in between like a hoops card and a prism card, like they don't. Um, alrighty, Pritchard. He is so small, but he just plays like a giant, that kid. I love the way he plays. He's got a lot of heart, that guy. So I'm very reluctant to do this, but I think we have to talk about the Super Bowl. Did you guys watch the Super Bowl? 
I was walking down the street yesterday and there was just a heap of people at my local bar just sitting outside drinking beers. I mean, it's not that I didn't know it was popular, but I probably didn't expect that many people to turn out. Triple J and that sick retro uni, Ingalls, Levert, Simmons, the big fella. Yeah, 43 years old and still playing. I mean, I'm like, I can barely walk anymore, you know? Josh Green for the Mavs. And that was the other guy who I could not remember his name before, Killian Hayes. K Love, Murray, Marcus Morris Sr. for the Clips. And another numbered card. This is Legends of the Game, DeAndre Ayton, 780 of Triple Nine. Why do they even bother? Tillman and Robert Wooden, the second. Alrighty. Let's go a quick break. Makes me wonder how many actual cards they produce of this stuff. So if it's numbered to six ninety nine, how many? It really makes my mind boggle. I, I would love just to know. You know. All right, guys, this is the last two packets. I'll, I'll flip the box over in a second. But this is it. So good luck, guys. We haven't hit um, Elamelo yet, have we? Or did we? I don't think so. Bertans. Bam. Michael Porter. Westbrook. Delo And Aaron Baines numbered. This is not as low numbered as the other one before. That has to 199. Let's go into the Suns. Congratulations, Suns. Suns is spook. Good, good pick up, mate. Naismith, Obi for the Knicks. His um, draft night interview was pretty awesome. I don't really think I'm going to forget that. Simons, second year Kobe, Marquise Chris, Shake, and another Obi. Let's go on to the Knicks. That's going to BJ Robson. That's purple short print. Oh, <laughs> second last card. I was hoping we'd get one of these. That's nice. <laughs> Alrighty, who got Charlotte? Hornets. Hornets is Martin. Congratulations, Martin, mate. That's a nice little card. Alrighty, so let me just tidy up this little space for a second. Um, I'll check for red backs on our base pile, and then I'll go through um, all the inserts and rookie cards as a recap. And then uh, I'm going to do a personal packet of hoops. I got myself a packet of hoops today. Well, I got myself a few packets of hoops, but I'll just open one tonight. And then, um, yeah, let's do this. Sorry guys, I need to show you the box. That is one empty box. Alrighty, um, yeah, I'm certain now that's a red back. Alrighty, happy days, good. We got one. Alrighty, so we got one red back there. That means we must have a red back um, in the insert pile. Which is kind of exciting, because if it's a rookie, that's like, that's really good. Alrighty, what do we got? Come on. Nope. 
one last pile to go through. We might have been shorted a, um, a red back. Thought we got two per box. I lied to you, it's one per box. So our red back is Tim Hardaway Jr. Alrighty, so why don't we start with our, um, our sort of our bigger hits and then we'll go through. So that's our that's our box hit, Tim Hardaway Jr., the red back. If you see them on eBay, guys, snap them up, particularly if they're a good price. Andre Miller for the Nuggies on our Hoops Inc. The Prime Twine, my personal favorite. LeBron on the City Edition, High Voltage RJ. Edwards, the number one. Rookie Inc. Jordan Nawawa for the Bucks. The Jamarant Tribute. The Lamello. It'd be pretty awesome if we got that as a red back. Hypnotized. Gary Harris to 25. James Wiseman. Alrighty, Jaden McDaniels, Christian Woods, Drew Holiday. I don't know why you're in that file. I think it's because we we're talking about him. Um, rookie cards, Denny, Jalen Smith, Middleton Purple, Trey Jones, Winston. Got next is Williams, Legends of the Game, numbered. He's the big fella, Russ. Malachi. Isaiah Stewart, Maxi, Zion second year, Okoro. So are you guys going to be buying second year Zion? Do you think that um, it's going to be a similar trend to what happened with Luca last year where people were completely priced out of the market for his rookie cards and they started to look for, you know, a little bit sort of better value stuff and initially, um, you know, Luca cards were sort of going for five bucks. They were up to fifty just for his base cards, his base prism second year last year. So I kind of think it's going to happen again. But maybe the difference between the two guys is that Zion actually has cooled off quite a bit, whereas Luca has just sort of kept on like smashing through. I'm not really like the talking podcast boys were talking the other day that Trey Young's gone down forty percent. I'm not convinced that that's actually you know correct look Trey Young's been an absolute beast this year you know Zion dropping off 20% or so you know same thing I think he's been playing really well Trey Young that beautiful Hampton got next alrighty guys looking good Tyler Bay The Bainer to 199. Obi on the purple. This is going to take me about a year to penny sleeve all these bad boys. That is okay. Aiton, Wooded, Tillman. Our last couple. Green, Pritchard, Patrick Williams. I lied to you. Two more. And Salary. Alrighty, guys. Uh, I'm actually going to do a personal pack for myself. If you're interested, please stick around. If you've got other things to do, I'll be back in two seconds. So uh, these were pre-orders from eBay, oh, eBay, EB Games, um, this is the Hoops Premium, this is the um, 1920 product, EB Games were selling this for 25 bucks, um, they had pre-orders and then they recently just loaded some more up onto their website too. If you didn't get your hands on some, don't totally um, 
yeah, don't be sort of too worried. Go check it out, see if there's any more in there. Because, um, yeah, look, for 25 bucks, geez. And look, I actually, I don't mind this product. It's kind of like a, um, like a Donruss optic. They're just a little bit thicker than prism cards, they're more like, yeah. Too much. I don't know why I'm penny sleeving these. I don't think it's going to matter, is it? Alrighty, Courtney Lee. Bagley. Not bad, little Kobe. That's pretty cool. Taku. Wagner. My silver is Nerlands. And looks like I've got a colored. It's not numbered. Not bad. Centering's a little bit off east west. The joys of life video, eh? like super coarse at the top here you can like pretty much file your na nails on that bad boy alrighty backstage pass dream on that's kind of cool I like that Interesting. I feel like um, people are so keen for um, you know this year's product. I feel like last year's products really sort of fallen by the wayside. Um, I've been noticing sort of a few breaks. It's not literally not being filling at all. So I don't know. Interesting. All right, bonus pack. Let's do this. Wish me luck. Denzel, Cat, and Covington. Can't complain about that. A couple of rookies. Nice little green. Shame it's a little bit rough at the top. Denzel. Nolan's on the silver. Kobe on the base. Taco on the base. Backstage pass. Yeah. And Jackson. That's it, lads. Alrighty. Thank you so much again for the support. Really appreciate it, guys. Um yeah hope you're all doing really good um in terms of mail days i'll pack up cards probably on saturday but if you do want a mail day before that let me know i can probably try and squeeze something in hey jared thanks mate thank you so much um but yeah i just did a heap of mail yesterday in saying that if you have probably more than one team like 
Alan, to be honest, mate, I think you'll be ready for a male day just because of the fact this is so many cards in this. Probably Sebastian, you'll just about be ready, mate. Um, who else had multiple teams? Yeah, BJ did. Clinton. I, I just sent you cards this week, mate. You should be pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, pretty much anyone who's got multiple teams, there's just so much base in this product. You, you'll be pretty much right for a male day. So I'll start getting them ready for you. And that's it, lads. Um, our next break, I haven't really put too much thought into it. I might just do like a cheapy, a like couple of dollar break and just smash out a nice little blaster just to sort of keep it going. And uh, the next thing I really need to work on is getting some products up to Martin because I've been a bit slow with that. So, yeah, guys, thanks again. I hope you're all doing well. And um, yeah, take care. Alrighty, peace out. Bye.